Hi guys, we're here right now in Aramco Beach in Yanbu, Saudi Arabia. Uh, I'm with my church mates. We just had our water baptism. So uh, right now we're just taking a rest and we're ready to go back to our to our house. So this is the Red Sea. So, uh, just to give you some trivia, Moses parting the Red Sea is one of the most spectacular miracles in the Bible. The dramatic st story plays out and as the Israelites are escaping from so slavery really in Egypt, trapped between the sea and the pursuing army. Moses tells the people to stand firm and see the deliverance of the Lord. God opens a miraculous way of escape by clearing a dry path through the sea. Once the people are safely on the other side, God sweeps away the Egyptian army into the sea. Through this epic miracle, God reveals His absolute power over all things. Now I'd like to give you an extra of the video uh, from the miraculous Exodus route the Israelites took from Egypt, the location of the Red Sea crossing and the location of the Mount Sinai. This video uses the Bible along with new evidence and discoveries to bring this foundational biblical event to life. Welcome to the Holy Land and this biblical site of the Red Sea. We're filming this just a little bit down from a lot. Uh, just a few miles from the Egyptian border, and uh, we are at the uh, Guaba finger of the Red Sea, the believed place where the Israelites crossed the Red Sea. Absolutely phenomenal, the miracle that took place and the miracles that surrounded the nation of Israel, their deliverance out of Egypt and going into the Promised Land. We're going to be looking at the route that the Israelites took after they left Egypt and as they arrive to Mount Sinai. So follow along, amazing, amazing things that God did right here. So for many years, it was believed that the Israelites crossed the Gulf of the Suez finger of the Red Sea, just east of what is now Cairo, Egypt. However, there are no deep bodies of water in these areas, just shallow marshes and lakes. For this reason, the biblical account of this astounding miracle has been questioned by some scholars and has been somewhat discredited to make the Bible out to, to be not really true, but that's not the case whatsoever. And we're going to show you amazing evidence in this video that shows that this is the area where the Israelites crossed the Red Sea and they were almost about a half of a mile underneath the water in the only spot on the uh, on the Aguaba finger of the Red Sea where it's possible for them to go down and come up. So many recent archaeologists and scholars now believe the Israelites crossed the Red Sea at the Gulf of the Aguaba finger of the Red Sea and that Mount Sinai, where the Israelites were headed, is located in Midian, which is modern-day Arabia, modern-day Saudi Arabia. So Midian was in Saudi Arabia, not in the Sinai Peninsula. In this video, we're going to be talking about this fascinating miracle and looking at strong evidence which confirms the modern-day belief that the Israelites crossed the Red Sea on the Gulf of Aguaba Finger of the Red Sea and that Mount Sinai is located in modern-day Saudi Arabia. So this is our patio. And my church meets getting a bit nearer to them what they're doing what they're doing This is still a part of the Red Sea.
Picture, picture. Say hi. Hi. So I'd like to bring you to my hobby. We're just fishing right now. Just gonna try. Just gonna have. Gonna have a piece of fish today. Or a squid. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. And this is Susie. Bye.